So I hear this question a lot. People will say, hey, um, I just looked up reselling, looked up flipping. I saw a storage hunter, I saw a storage auction hunters, you know, some new show on TV. Um, I'm wondering if you can really make money on eBay? And so my question to this is always a yes, you can make money on eBay. But the real question is, how do you want to go about it? From my experience, people that are in interested in selling online are interested in earning income, you know, maybe enough for them to have some extra pocket money or, you know, money to go out and eat on a night out. But some people are also interested are going in going full-time, quitting their 9-to-5 if it's possible. It depends on what type of person you are. If you want to earn a few extra hundred dollars per month, you then you just need to do some research on items that you can get for low cost and sell them to others that need or want them at a profit to you. Buy low, sell high. Very basic. <clears throat> there are some simple ways to do that. All you have to do is just check your local classifieds, your you know, your newspapers, Craigslist, etc. for garage sales, yard sales, estate sales storage auctions, and so forth. Once you have your inventory, you know, you go out there, you find the deals, you bargain, you barter, you, you know, obtain inventory at low cost. Once you have your inventory, then you take great photos. Get them listed on your selling website, whether it be eBay, Etsy, Amazon, whatsoever have you. If you need help with taking photos, we have a blog post on stop listing called How to Take Great Photos. I'll link it in the description below. So you've taken your great photos and you've gotten them and you've gotten them listed on your selling website. In your listing, you have to try to convey the level of care and professionalism that you'll be giving to your customers in delivering their items. Now for those who are interested in earning full time income from eBay, Etsy, Amazon FBA, in addition to what you in addition to selling what you can get a hold of, you might want to try to specialize in something that really interests you. Make no mistake that finding items may become your new 9 to 5, okay? So specializing a portion of your inventory to items that are both profitable and interesting to you can give you can give what you are doing a greater purpose. So what does this mean? This means that you know, reselling is not a walk in the park. I know on, on TV and they make it they make it seem interesting and easy and you know, something simple. But it's a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. You realize that a lot of things in life, you know, require a lot of effort to maintain. So with reselling, it's really good to find something that you are generally passionate about because if you can if you can find that niche where you're passionate about and sell the items it becomes so much easier to convey your true enthusiasm through your listings. People can tell when you're a real, you know, real fan of a certain brand or a certain movie, etc. So when you're selling that item, they're more apt to buy from you than from someone else who is just, you know, hustling or, you know, peddling items. So find what it is that you really enjoy. You already know what it is. Favorite movies, favorite you know, brands, favorite, you know, favorite types of items. Like some people are into rotary phones, other people are into video games. Find that niche and try to specialize in it later on. When you're just starting out, you know, just do what you can, buy low, sell high, you know. But once you start having in a sort of a stable income, you can sort of specialize. And because of your knowledge in that field, because whatever you're passionate about, you're going to be knowledgeable about it. So because of your knowledge in that field, you're going to have an advantage over all the other people because you're going to know instantly what is worth something. Like if you're a collector of baseball cards, you're going to know that a certain player's baseball card is worth a lot more than another's, and this year is worth more than the other year, etc. So you automatically have an edge. Use that edge to your advantage and help make the work go by faster with your passion because you're going to love what you do and you're going to get paid for it. And there's no greater reward that I know in reselling than that.
thank you for listening to this question answer. Um, if you have any questions, just email us at info at stoplisting.com and subject line, I have a question. Thank you for your time.